Hey, my name is Isil Khan and in this episode, we will be determining a suitable video of full super elevation. Remember, full super elevation is actually the super elevation at the apex point of a horizontal curve. And of course, apex point is the center or midpoint of a curve along its length or perimeter. Now, what should be the video of full super elevation? Well, for this approach, we can use the following formula. E equals BV square divided by GR. And I know this formula was derived by me in the previous class. So if you want derivation to this formula, you can watch the video. Link to that video is down below in the video description. So now B and that formula is the breadth of road or railway line you can say. V is the speed of vehicle. G is in acceleration equals 9.8 meter per second square and of course R equals the radius of curve. Now in order to determine the pull super elevation, we will give solution to a problem as we always do. And let's say if we are asked to calculate super elevation for a circular road having radius equals 30 meters and it is 8 meter wide. We are also informed to take pipe o kilometer per hour as the speed of vehicle and take centrifugal ratio equals 1 divided by 10. Alright, so as you can see the given data is enough to calculate the video of pull super elevation. So I will come directly into the solution and in the solution our approach is to work out super elevation which should be bv square divided by gr. So data is given, formula is given. The only thing we have to do is to do, of course, the plug and chug in and date formula, okay? Like H equals B, B is known, that's given, right? That's only eight meter. So eight meters times V square, which is of course pi o kilometer per hour. But this video is to be converted into meters per second because the rest video like the radius, road breadth and date acceleration are in meters. So the speed of vehicle must be in meter per second. And to convert pipe O kilometer per hour into meters per second, just multiply this video with one triple O because one kilometer equals 1000 meters and then divide it by 3600 because one hour is just 3600 seconds, okay? Now just do little math, we can get of course the speed of vehicle equals 13.89 meter per second. So now we can put this video and date formula, right? Like H equals 8 times 13.89 divided by G, which is the centrifugal acceleration you can say, and that must be 9.81. And of course R is known, that is 300 meters. And by doing little math with this, we can get the video of pull super elevation, which should be 0.524 blah 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 blah, okay? Or you can say 52.5 centimeter. But we are not done yet, because we will have to check this calculated video with the limit of super elevation. So let's do it. As you can see, the centrifugal ratio is 1 over 10. So the super elevation limit is going to be 1 over 10 times road breadth. So limit equals 1 over 10 times 8 because 8 is just the breadth of road and that is going to be 0.8 meters or 8 or centimeter. So the limit of super elevation is 80 centimeter and now as you can see our calculated video is in the limit. So that's okay. We can provide 52.5 centimeter as the pull super elevation on the same road and that's it. So the pull super elevation is now 52.5 centimeter. Hey, if you like these types videos, make sure you hit that subscribe button for free, press the bell icon, and never miss an other update from an engineer boy. Thank you dears for watching. See you next time.